so today we will be making an adorable centerpiece or candle holder with items from the dollar store. What you will need, I have the smaller wreath ring. I believe it's about 8 inches. It comes two in a pack. Some gold Chanel stems. I have gold and red deco mesh. And this actually, I got this at Hobby Lobby, but they sell the exact same thing at Dollar Tree. And then also a candle holder and a wider bowl. So you can, if you want it to be a candle holder, then of course use the, the tall candle holder. But you can even use this and put like candy or pine cones or ornaments or whatever you'd like in the center. So you have that option. Also scissors and a hot glue gun. All right let's get started so I've cut about a roll and a half of gold and a roll and a half of red deco mesh into eight inch long pieces now I'm going to put the pieces into bundles of three now you can do bundles of two bundles of four whatever you'd like but I chose to do bundles of three and then we're gonna get all the bundles together and then we'll start placing it on the ring so I just think it's easier to make all of the bundles first because it makes the process I feel like it makes the process go faster when you start placing them so for the bundle you need three pieces of deco mesh and a Chanel stem that's cut in half so I have red gold red and then the next time I'm gonna do gold red gold and kinda alternate it back and forth so you take your piece and here's another option you can roll it in a curl or roll it roll it as a diagonal so at the diagonal it will look like that it's longer pointed so that's one option but I think I'm actually for this center piece just going to roll it in a cute little curl just like that and then I'm going to do the same with the gold Just like that, and I'm like crisscrossing them. Then the red. Again, I'm using three pieces of eight inch long deco mesh for each bundle, but you can use more or less. It's completely up to you. You can do gold, white, and red, or you can do red, white, and green. So just have fun with it. So you have three pieces. I don't have them on top of each other. They're kind of crisscross. I'm going to scrunch it together in the center. Take my half of a Chanel stem, twist it. Then you can kind of adjust it just like that. So cute. I'll do another one. And again, remember I said I'm alternating. So gold, red, gold. And one half of a Chanel stem. So this is red, gold, red, gold, red, gold. Just like that. So you will need 54 pieces of deco mesh, three pieces in each bundle, and we're going to have a total of 18 bundles. Six, six, and six in each of the three sections. All right, so I'm gonna make all the bundles and then we'll come back and place it on the ring. So I have 18 bundles here, nine bundles with the red, gold, red, and nine bundles with the gold, red, gold. So I'm just going to alternate these bundles when I place them on the ring. It's so cute and curly. Again, you can change the color, how many pieces you put in each bundle. Just modify it and make it your own. So first thing we're going to do, take our first bundle and place it on the outer two rings. And then just twist it at the bottom. Just like that. And I'm going to make sure it's sideways like this instead of like that. And then I'm going to, again, we're alternating. I'm going to take my next bundle and I'm going to alternate here as well. Place it on the inner two rings. So outer two, inner two, outer two, inner two. And then do the same thing. Twist it in place. And then kind of tuck the stems away. Just like that. So I'm going to do this all the way around, alternating the color bundles and also alternating the inner two and outer two rings. And then once you get more placed, you'll be able to kind of adjust it and modify it and make sure everything looks really cute.
Okay, so this is just one section. And look at how cute and adorable and fluffy that looks. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the next two sections. So I have all 18 bundles in place. This is what it's looking like. So cute and fluffy. This could make an adorable wreath by itself. Oh, let me show you the back. So you see I've been alternating inner two, outer two, inner two, outer two. And I've just been tucking the Chanel stems away. So six in each of the three sections for a total of 18. So cute. I just have to move everything over. If you're going to use the ball, you could just put the the bundles on only the outer ring. That'll give you a little more space in the center. But I like to be able to use it as a centerpiece or a candle holder. So uh, I just like to um, be able to use it for multiple things. So I'm going to show you how it looks as a centerpiece and a candle holder. So it's the centerpiece. You have your bowl in the center. I'm just going to add this fun decoration. Which... That looks cute by itself, in my opinion. I think Christmas candy or peppermints will look so adorable. And you could even add like peppermint deco mesh. And that will look so cute. You can even add a twist and put some pine cones in the center. So that's another option. Or you could have fun and add some ornaments. Whatever you want to do, just have fun with it and make it your own. So this is what it looks like as a centerpiece. It comes out, you can just have fun ornaments. You could even have candy canes or some kind of candy in the bowl. So just have fun with it. Just do whatever you'd like. I think candy will look adorable in this bowl with the extra little decor. Or again, you can do the bulbs, you can do the pine cones. So I'm also going to show you how to turn this into a candle holder. So just place that in the center and place your candle there. And that looks adorable. But what you can add to it just to give it a little extra flair and then you have some of this fun some of this fun de decoration just take your candle and slide it in there and that looks so cute and adorable and if you want to add an extra touch you add a gorgeous bow so if you want to see how i made this bow just check out the link in the description box and the link will also be at the end of this video so you just take your bow wire and we're just going to tie it to the back of the candle holder. And then I'm just going to move the deco mesh over slightly so that this can sit down a little more. You also have the option of tying the bow directly to your wreath ring. And this is so cute and adorable. Again, you can modify the color, the style, the size, whatever you'd like. So quick and simple and easy to make. Very versatile. And you know you don't even have to keep a candle in the center. You can have candy, candy canes. You can just add in a bunch of decorations. That looks cute as well. Just have fun with it. Play around with it and make it your own. Mm -hmm. 